Welcome back everyone. Tonight we're going to photograph one of the most famous deep sky objects in the night sky. Tonight we're traveling 2.5 million light years away into the Andromeda Galaxy. My name's Trevor and you're watching Astro Pilot. There are only three ingredients in this universe. There's hydrogen, helium, and the dust of exploded stars. Alright, welcome back to the observatory guys. Tonight, as I just said, we are going to be imaging the great Andromeda galaxy in the constellation Andromeda. This massive spiral galaxy is located two and a half million light years away, our closest neighboring galaxy to our own Milky Way. So, as always, we're going to be using the ZWO SI2600 MC Pro with my 8 inch F5 GSO Newtonian which has been working flawlessly, as I say in every video. Can't help it. But cannot wait to see the view of this galaxy with this rig. It's going to be right up in it. Really deep field view of the Andromeda galaxy. It doesn't even encompass the whole galaxy. It's so, uh, the, the, it's a very tight field of view. So let's go ahead and get into it. Mount the camera up on the telescope and uh, get everything up and running. So I'll see you when it gets dark. Alright guys, so it is about 10.30 at night right now. I just got back from work a while ago. I'm all set up, camera is focused, flats and biases have been taken, and now we're just waiting for this thin little layer of clouds that rolled in just now to pass by, and then we'll start getting framed up on the Andromeda Galaxy. The Andromeda Galaxy. One of the most famous and most photographed deep sky objects in the night sky. Tonight, we're gonna be framed up on it really close in and a nice good deep field of view in this fantastically bright galaxy. It's the most photographed galaxy for good reason. It's large, bright, and easy to find and easy to process. It's typically one of the most, it's, it's typically, uh, if you're a beginner in astrophotography, it's probably one of your first targets you shoot besides the Orion Nebula. It's almost fall, almost September, and this is a perfect time of the year to start shooting this galaxy. M31, the Andromeda Galaxy, is located 2.5 million light years away from Earth. It's our closest neighboring galaxy to the Milky Way, and in about 5 billion years, our galaxy and the Andromeda Galaxy will collide, very similar to what's happening with the Whirlpool Galaxy and hundreds of other galactic merger events that are going on in the universe right now. As I just mentioned, the telescope is focused. I've taken my bias and flat frames. The rotation angle is set. All we have to do now is slew to our target and get running. I think the clouds are about cleared off, so I think it's time for us to slew to our target, M31. So, just slewed to the target. That's our, you can see the galactic core right there. Seems like there is a little cloud still in the frame there. But, if we go look at the planetarium view, that's our field of view with the 8 inch Newtonian, which gives an awesome deep field view of Andromeda. So, that is what we're working with tonight. Now, let's go ahead and get our guiding set up and all that good stuff and then we'll start shooting all right guys so we're out here just doing my autofocus sequence on our uh, target here and everything's running nicely 
next thing we'll do after it gets focused we will uh, set up our guiding and start guiding and then we'll start taking our first exposures on the Andromeda Galaxy. All right looks like we have a pretty good selection of guide stars so we're gonna go ahead and hit that and look at all that multi-star guiding. We have our main guide star and one two three four other stars that is helping guide with so all right so there comes our guide graph coming in the ra just settled out and there comes the dec declination in the red there coming down and we'll just clear that out to refresh it real quick and that should start to smooth out and we are good to go so i plan on taking four minute exposures unfiltered tonight and uh gather around five hours on it tonight probably and about a little bit more than that tomorrow night hopefully as well to get a good 10 hour total or so on m31 so it should be really nice so here comes our first four minute exposure i've got the apps hat i've got i have my ipad upside down right now so we can see it in the correct position just in this one second exposure, you can see that dark band right there. About 30 seconds left now. I have a good feeling about this one. This is gonna be crazy. All right. In five, four, three, two, one. Oh my gosh. Wow. No way. The amount of detail in those dust lanes there is crazy. Wow. That is really cool. You have the small satellite galaxy out here. That really bright core of Andromeda is just really, really bright. Wow. That is so cool. All right. All the stars look good. Everything's nice and round nice 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 wow all right so we're going to continue shooting on this massive spiral galaxy tonight on andromeda we'll turn this over there's how i'm framed up right now in the proper position the final image will be flipped back around but wow that is cool Okay, so we are up and running on the Andromeda Galaxy right now. I'm going to go ahead and close out this video. Stay tuned for the end to see the final image. I should have around 10 or so hours on this final image of Andromeda this time. Super excited to uh, see what I can do when processing this. It's going to be an awesome image, I do believe. So um, I want to thank you guys so much for all your views, all your comments, all the support. I know I've had... A lot of you guys that have been longtime viewers that always watch my videos and comment, I appreciate appreciate you guys so much for all that. So for those of you who are newer to the channel, go ahead and subscribe and turn on the post notifications, all that good stuff. So uh, yeah, stay tuned for this final image of M31, the Andromeda Galaxy. And as always, thank you for watching Astro Pilot and clear skies.